right. Bob. Armor from Grelka. Skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Huh? I knew it. Dirty this world no more. What was that? Let's get this over with.
Brynjolf. Those days are all... I think Brynjolf could give you all the information you need. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Of course you'll get a cut. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Helga is a devout follower of Dibella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the Bee and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. What do you want? Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. First is the Velt, second, last, and only for the bravest of souls. They're vermin. Garbage. How appropriate they should live in the rat way with the rest of the trash. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. I can't help you much right now. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. 
How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Very well. Here, you take this like back you could to use me. What do you say no to some cheap mead? So, can I interest you in anything today? Oh, well, so Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You demand payment for protection. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before... Likewise. Now I have a lot to do. This isn't happening. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf he'll just have to make... As you are planning an unfair attack, perhaps we should put the angels away. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf... was priceless all right I get it here take your gold and leave me in peace something on your mind I know who you are. Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. Yes, I... but no matter. So, are you here as a client? Shall... I have not always been... I studied. I count the nobility of both the Empire and the Dominion among my clients. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. Well done. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. 
That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin. Now if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. I think you'd better listen to Mercer and Brynjol first. Let me show you the operation, then you can ask your questions. It's just this way. Keep following me. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. If you break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? I'll let that comment go because you're new here. Ask things out of turn again and we if you're not sure, maybe you don't belong here. I'll ask again. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work, so let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm exp Simple. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Vex. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the Flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The Guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather. But their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business. I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar meadery, which would cut into her profits. We had an arrangement with Maven. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. 
One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Pretty tough. I respect that. Bringing in a lot of coin for the guild. I joined up with them maybe ten years ago. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans. But it was always about the killing for them. Don't get me wrong, the first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink. We raided a caravan one spring. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. No, we usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it, I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. 